Okay, uh... <laughs> Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight. And I... No, just as I say... <laughs> and I just as I'm about to say, usually I'd say along with... <laughs> <laughs> but Brickier was absent, he pops up. Brickier, at your service. Oh, I... I didn't notice it. I was this close on. <laughs> Anyways, then... <laughs> then the only one missing is Rom at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a little bit late if I was testing uh, some DLCs for Ages Wonders 4. And I saw a time I thought, alright, time to turn off, check if they're both are ready. Go make a sandwich and all that at the same time, so I've been multitasking until now. <laughs> okay, let me go give Ram a poke to see where he is. Uh, let's see. It's a thing will load, of course. Mm -hmm. Find or start. Ram. Okay. Oh, he said it was idle. Okay. I just had a new idea. Oh? So it might be a bit mean. What then? <laughs> uh, putting Rom's model inside a bottle. <laughs> I think you get a uh, joke there and why they might be a bit mean. Uh, maybe normally I would, but I don't really have the attention for it at the moment also there you uh, go thank you i'll give you a little clue from uh from a lyric of a song yo ho ho and a bottle of rum <laughs> <laughs> okay now i get it yeah yeah now also uh, you did what i said it's a little bit mean and you know, they, they, i can see half the screen now but you put a hat on my face <laughs> when you wanted a hat <laughs> yes but not on my face i want it on my head Okay, I can try moving it around a bit, so we'll have to do without the music for a bit a moment though. So uh it's fine. <laughs> Just gives me uh, reason to joke about it. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Uh, I'll give Ram another poke. Because yeah, he he typically shows up a a bit late, but typically still before stream time, or before we jump to here. Or just on time. But yeah. <laughs> I, I should have asked earlier if I was not distracted. Mm. Uh, let's give it a bit, like seven more minutes about, and if he can't make it or can't reply before then, we might need to jump over to something else then. <clears throat> okay. Um, hmm. Are they enslaved? Yeah, I meant more for the uh, something else. Like we, we have been talking about if uh, we can't do a multiplayer or we can't do LA Noir or such at this point. Yeah. Uh, to try something more relaxing, like a uh, Planet Zoo or Jurassic World Evolution Two. Yeah, Obvious which of the two gets uh, his preference. Rhyme world? Uh, did, you, did you mix up rhyme uh, and rhyme, rhyme world there? Rhyme. I, I, mean, I want to say rhyme game. I don't know why I said world. <laughs> okay, that would be an interesting mix up. Just a chill exploration game and then just the madness of rim world in the distance. Oh, good gods. Uh. Oh no, I used to remember something, something from one of my view and playthrough. Where I, I play modded, just clarify, I play modded Dream World. And I had a mammoth! Like, wait, no, with a woolly rhino. Woolly rhino decided to impale someone's pinky toe. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the kind of, what it is is that less material, this is basically a right, wouldn't run with a huge horn on his forehead. So just the idea of it somehow aiming for the pinky toe on a human. <laughs> Either that's skill aim or extremely bad luck on a human. 
<laughs> also a very a very uh, thin <laughs> tusk. It was not a was a horn. <laughs> like a very thin horn, but oh, no, 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 was a long. They are <laughs> big. <laughs> They're basically known for being a massive horn, and also possibly the reason for the myth unicorns. <laughs> okay. Well, while we uh, give Rom some time to show up, we might as well, well actually try a bit of the free roam stuff. And yeah, see if anything at all happens. Like, we can Do respond to the uh, dispatch calls, we could find collectibles, but for those, we'd probably have to scavenge all over the city. Oh, oh speak of the devil with this. K responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Sounds like no. you pennies is hiding from me. I will find you all and eat you. Yes, sir. Uh, Damn. <laughs> Why did you places have so much preparation H? Okay, I'm pretty sure I've never seen this before. Oh, wait! Benny's giving me speed! <laughs> okay, is this guy high or something? Dude. Well, he almost went high up to meet the angels. <laughs> Get the hell down from there, you lunatic! <laughs> yeah, like, we, like we haven't had enough chases in this game already. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, where is Rom? Nowhere to go, but you know, it's... There we go, simple as that. This, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Well, now you're going to be speedy in a tin can. Hmm. Now, I'm getting the feeling that Rom's been dragged away for something last minute again. Oh, well. One of 40 street crimes. I need to go over the case now. I would not be surprised, but it has happened a few times in the past. Hmm. Yeah, but I, if that were to happen, I'd still appreciate that he could send a quick little message like, can't make it, sorry. Yeah, unless it's on evil to do that. Okay, they ran into us there, so... <laughs> So I don't think we get scored for stuff like that. Okay. And he's just gone offline, so I think, yeah, he's not just not going to be able to show up. Okay. Now let's, let's do this little thing then, and then we move over to uh, Jurassic World. Sure. Or we can maybe continue to do just common crimes with this, but I don't think that would be as interesting without Rom to give uh, extra commentary on everything. Also, where the hell is this? Yeah. Is it across I town? Really okay, it's not across town, but still a good distance. Um, yeah, let's do, we're heading there anyways now, so might as well, maybe it'll actually be interesting, because I think some of these side crimes can be pretty interesting. It's, of course, not as long or complex as uh, the full-on cases, but still. Also, shouldn't we be able to just put on a siren for this and such? Um... I, I'm pretty sure they have one. They. Um, look at 
Uh, they, one of those that you can put on there, I believe. Well, I do have to question how those things stay in place, like a magnet or something? No. I've only seen those in cartoons and never in live action. So I think it's more of a yoke. Hmm, see? Ah, crap. I see you motherfuckers. Ooh. Come on up here and get us. What is all this? Crap to stop from hell. Probably even pulls these guys over. Finds that trunk full of hardware like you wouldn't believe. They lose it. Bullets start flying. And they snatch up the guns in one of the cops. Head to high ground. And the officer? Up there. Still alive, we think. Who knows for how long. We'll keep him busy if you can find a way up, sir. I know the other uh, one may have been on the wrong place, right? <laughs> hey, Rom. Oh, no. hey. Wait, you didn't notice him? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't get the joy notices. Uh, we thought we weren't. You weren't going to be able to show up. But <laughs> glad to see I was mistaken on that. Since you went, or you, or at least on Discord, you went to offline instead of uh, idle. Also, this is going to blind the screen share for a bit. Because I need to one move that. <laughs> lunch, is on, lunch is here. One second. I'm hmm. late for one thing. There. And just about covers most of it up there. <laughs> I really should still clean up that rim, though. Probably. Anyways, I'll be right back. Lunch. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that'll give us time to finish this uh, side thing. Uh. Okay, just gotta get underneath the firing line. Oh dear. It's none of these reach. None of these are climbable either, I think. And also says the Bavarian. Isn't that somewhere in the Netherlands? Uh, what? Uh, Bavaria? I think it's actually Belgian or German. Ooh, well. Alright, but oh wait. Oh wait, I remember mixing up with the. Oh, what about the Batavi? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, close range against free automatic weapons. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to reload. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally, normally Phillips would be Swiss cheese here. Actually, that's not a. He has a pistol, not a. And now he has an extra lead tooth. Oh dear. Eleven K. I've been involved in a shooting. It's code four here, but suspects are down, and I need an ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. Also notify detective headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. Okay. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Detective headquarters will be notified. All units, 11K reports code four on the shooting at Chateau and Valencia. Code four. Why contact the detective's headquarters, though? Anyways. Now that Rom is here, we can move on back to our regularly, <laughs> regularly scheduled program. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. all I say is, I'm glad that phones are, have better sound quality nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back, back uh, Detective Rom. <laughs> Okay, last time we were chasing down, well, the medical cool uh, morphine again. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. And uh, yeah, people have started going after Marines who were also on the boat that got robbed. And yeah, we just had a quote-unquote sniper lighting this thing up with a machine gun. <laughs> oh dear gods. Okay. 
<laughs> Though I think it's, this term sniper is typically used for anyone who shoots from a higher or from a roof in these cases. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Well, time to have a chat with Jack. Let's just hope he has more to tell than Jack shit. You can drive. Where are we going? Okay. <laughs> Let me double check. A little more answer stuff. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's right. a cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Yeah, he has a bit of a point there, but... Yeah, veterans having to readjust to society, that is always and has always been an issue, I believe. Doesn't help that a lot of them get uh, fucked over by healthcare and such. Uh, also, there's something hello, glitching Jack. about it. <laughs> this is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. <laughs> he has a point. Oh, dear. And again, this is for his own protection, since, well, two others have been targeted so far. Yeah. Okay, Jack, what do you know about the surplus morphine? Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. As usual, you two get the... Get the debate on what to react, and I will give the right answer. I am doubtful, for I don't remember if we had any clues that he was there. So well, I mean, Matt, I mean, if I remember correctly, he is in the he was in the Cold Ridge, but I don't really think he was a part of the group that stole the morphine. Yeah, the only thing we know from him being. Uh, a part of this was through a flashback, and I don't think that counts as evidence. Yeah, so uh, doubtful. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. Mm. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Okay, how, how about Goldridge? Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. That looks a bit more truthful this time. Keeping eye contact. I say truth. Same. True. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Hmm. Bit of a look from uh, Phelps there. Keeping eye contact, but they're all looking concerned. <laughs> Well, he just heard that a bunch of automatic weapons from the military ended up on the street. Yeah. So, truth? 
Yeah. Truth. Tiff is weird. So he was today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. <laughs> yeah, Kelso doesn't like him at all, huh? What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. <laughs> I'm doubtful. Yeah, I'm very doubtful on this one. Yeah, I think I think we haven't talked about as much beyond just glancing away and such is chewing for some reason. People seem to do that a lot when they're bullshitting. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Duty, Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest? I think that's a yes. Okay. Mickey Cohen just spent days. Oh, friends of yours are gonna get plugged. Cute. Everyone that wasn't the cold red. Pretty much, I think. Though Phelps is on that list, so they might go after him as well. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Okay, and from the... Yeah, from the fire... Frying pan into the fire, that's the saying. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. Don't trust him. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Shut up, you. What I wouldn't do to hit a sign with him leaning out like this. <laughs> oh, that is something. This the stop sign thunk and Roy is just decapitated in the seat next to us. Well, yeah, there goes there goes Roy. Oh well. <laughs> and nothing of value was lost. <laughs> okay, that guy just got the jump scare of a lifetime. You couldn't hit a barn if you were standing in front of it. There we go. I think there's a newspaper here. Okay. Today's been a weird day. Yeah, a very violent day. It's starting to look more like an action movie. Yep, another, another bar. One. Okay. 
Yeah, they probably got these from the bar. There were some missing there. It's another ugly mug. Yeah, okay. the mob and ugly mugs? Probably because a lot of fists are involved. Hello. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. And locations. Let's see. Yeah, Jack Kelso, Sheldon Courtney, uh, Avelaru Felix, Michael, Albert Reading, Leo Epstein. Hmm. Not looking like Phelps on this list, though, so I guess that's one thing off of our minds. The fact that there won't be a bullet going through it we instead. Those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. A newspaper left. Yep. Yeah. LAPD vice scandal could all yeah, could go all the way to the top. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war. Who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. And his commitment to the public. We all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow. And you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. I think we might have an idea who might be the traitor in the midst, hmm? I don't think we'll find much of anything else here. Maybe we can check the car? There should be a notebook. Yeah, we got the notes with the uh, list of names and such. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's head on out before we have to scratch more names off that list. Okay. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Yeah, wait, why is this place still... Is there more here? Uh, okay, there is more here, apparently. Okay. Checking the dead guys? I checked one, but the other one didn't react. And hello to Pizza Lover. How are you doing today? Hey, the Pizza Lover. I'm doing fine. What's going on with the here? Okay, there's nothing popping up on him. Hmm. I'm checking his right. You were checking his left. That's his right. Or, I mean, his right yeah. pocket. I don't think he gets any yeah, we we right. already seen here the list here. Okay. What else does he want? Because he seems to have something. We already checked the BAR. And we can't check the other pocket because the he just won't move to it. Uh, now you will. Okay, there we Let's see. Mickey's meeting. Oh, meeting with Sheldon tonight. Great. All right, something from chat. Great, amazing. Finally, in four weeks, I got to play games with people and have fun. All okay, right. let's you play then. Can you drive to this one? Okay, just All the sound right, just cuts to? out really sharply. Let's actually head to the police station. It's here for some reason, I believe. 
Okay, playing Jack Wait, 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 wait. What? No, we're supposed to go there later. Okay. Right now, we need to go to... You drive. I need to go over the, the case post now. office. I'm taking out all the okay. guys from the uh, ship. Maybe. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine. They're waiting for someone to crack. Uh, <laughs> okay, we can just drive away from here again. Uh, Let's see. No, I have not played Yuckbox, but I have watched Yuck people play Yuckbox on YouTube and had a few laughs. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Yep, post office. Uh, I've played Jackbox a few times, and I have to say, for me, it's a bit of a middling experience. It d depends highly on which of the games it is, and of course, the people you play it with. Oh, dear. Well, I guess the entire city is deciding to go postal today. Also, a cop just died. Three cops just died. And he's still moving. Did Sticky Cohen just decide to declare war on the entirety of LA? Just one guy in his morphine? Looks like it. <laughs> Okay, one in each shoulder blade there. And one more chuckle puck to go. There we go. You're done. You don't have to shoot me in the back. <laughs> oh, hello. Still alive. Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. God. Okay. Well, he's got something on his hand. Hello, Hello Lenny. Really did it. Whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Didn't okay. we kill that guy? Now we killed uh, Lenny. Yeah, yeah, we killed yeah. Lenny, but uh, I guess we now know where he did get his supply from. Okay. Not moving towards the pockets. Okay. There's another dead guy. That isn't one of the shooters. And we have someone here. It's a lot of blood. And he still confessed. Hmm. Let me see. Any where else here? Ah, there. A, a, a bit hidden away. Okay, who the heck are you? You are long gone. And since people have a tendency to keep stuff in these pockets, which somehow stay clean ish. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Okay. Anything in the other one? Nope. Okay. Beckett. Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Just to Not be certain. Your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Okay, he's just snickering to himself inside on that line. Yeah. Now I think we go to the to the Chinese theater. Okay. Wait, 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 what did he snicker right, about? Where to? He 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 said that uh, not everyone is as uh, resistant to temptation as Cole, knowing full well that he went to. Uh, Elsa, and not the one from Frozen. Let's take a quick. This interview. isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. 
Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Yeah, especially if they're caught off guard. Okay. What the heck is going on here then? Ah, yeah. You. Hello, Mickey. Uh, uh, not Mickey. Hey. Getting close. And steer them off the tar. We'd be helpful if there weren't people running wild on the streets. It's no good. We need to get closer. Yeah. Getting close. And steer them off the tar. Yeah, shut up, Roy, or you'll lose more than just her head. Yeah. This town is just going absolutely uh, ape shit Don't with this, huh? Tires. Keep your foot down. Um, Make up your bloody mind, Roy. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> try, and, try and get up from that one, you motherfuckers. You surrender now? Put your hands here. Nope. But, but uh, I can't put half a clip in his ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something feel a bit off. Tell them to put their hands in the air while f sh filling them with bullets. Um, put your hands in the air or you fill his ass with lead. Uh, <laughs> Quite literally this time. <laughs> uh, it's another two people gunned down on both sides. Okay. okay. Game just did a fart. Uh, You're behind the wheel. Fine. Okay. Where, Where to now, would you say? Station? I'm pretty sure if we go to the meeting place, it's going to end the case. You. Hmm? I have to go to the meeting place. Okay, so the station is n isn't highlighted for anything of importance or no, so. It, I, no, we just go there later. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, I think you, you may want to explain what happened to Pizza Lover. Yes. <laughs> I come back from getting water, and all I hear is Phyllis out with lead. What the, the fuck happened? A car chase, which uh, ended in a pretty bad crash for them, and they just stumble out and <laughs> just uh, start shooting and just keep hitting one in the ass. Start bay. Yeah. At this rate, Cole is going to need to buy his own bullets with how many he's going to be using. You know, that was a satisfying sound. Boy getting filled with a few pellets. He's got up at the head and he just didn't forgive it yet. There. He used to be a mob, bo uh, a mobster, but then he took a bullet to the leg, <laughs> yeah, to the knee. There. Oh, come on, hell! Come on! A shotgun. They're still good at a decent range, as that one just proved. <laughs> Another ass field. How are you alive? Or even able to stand? That should have shattered your ass. Yeah, at least grab the dead guy, the AR. <laughs> okay, coming out. There we go. 
That's what a third of Mickey Cohen's goon. I'm on every one of the sons of bitches on that. Carl Eleven K. Carl Eleven King, come in. Carl Eleven King. Eleven K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol. Eleven K, I'll take that as a Roger. <laughs> Carl Eleven King on route. <laughs> what the heck? Can you go to this one? Where are we going? You know where we're going, jackass. Uh. I do gotta say, though, that on some aspects of the story, I think it might be a bit more entertaining to have the paper, the, the the bits from the the newspapers played after the story or something. I, playing them on the sites. Just... Roy, mm. in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. Okay. I think we can guess what he's going to be talking about with Roy. Hello there, Doc. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was a cold one, <laughs> Cole. Holy... You know anything about the Marines, of the, the 6th unit Marines being targeted? I would have I mean, asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but... That's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Look at on the left. He just seems so smug. I mean, I know the. I mean, I know Sheldon's lying, but the guy on the left, I want to punch him. Dog. Many reasons. He's lying. We. He's literally lying since we do have evidence in the form of like the notebook. Yeah, he may have planning a meeting with the <laughs> drug lords. <laughs> yeah. Arch, you're hereby guilty of a horrible <laughs> shirt. Uh, wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> on the one hand, yeah, fashion says, like on the other hand, we're here to arrest him like on this. drug either give cases. It up or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Yeah, like, we have uh, a few things pointing to you, like this one with uh, your name in it, uh, as well as, well, literally a note where you're talking about you and Cohen meeting. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old boy. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. <laughs> you were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. A dead guy can sit. He's keeping eye contact. He's not chewing. He is, fit. He is shifting his weight around, though. Uh, I feel like we've been doing the wool doubt so many times. That you're starting uh, to doubt always... if it's that is going to be doubt. Yeah, and we have always had always had moments where we thought he was time to talk about the they were actually telling the truth, but it made sense for them to be shifty or restless due to what happened, due to yeah. they had so many doubt Stare options to begin with. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> so if they make a sequel or a new game of this game. Maybe balance things out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's the verdict? 
Doubt. And wrong. I said lie. I said lie. Yep. My oh, bad. We missed that. We so both missed that. that. The mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you. I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? The smug dog leaning in. One of them literally confessed. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office. Now. This man is about to confess. As of now, now is why he's suspended is from the... duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. He's... What I so want to know is full. why is the head of homicide on the vice case? You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, man. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. Maybe he's not an active officer anymore. He can't tell what him what to do. You think? So I'm pretty sure he could talk to the press all he'd like. Of course, that would reflect badly on the board because, well, they'd be hating on him for hanging out there in dirty laundry. Yeah. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. Fun fact. Go to Let her, Cole. You have done I'll enough leave. damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie, can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Right, like that compares to having to deal with the deaths and corruption of the city every single day of his freaking life. Um, anyway, I was gonna say, the lady that plays Cole's wife is actually married to the actor that plays Cole in real life. <laughs> oh, for love of. I'm pretty sure that's the one and only time we ever get to see her. And actually, we see her in the intro, but that's about the only two times. And the ending. Okay. Those are the only three times we see her. And all she's doing by this is driving him straight to her. 
Yeah, adultery used to be a crime. Uh, oh, come on. You can't pin those on me. Roy was driving. <laughs> well, to be fair, we can't technically, they can't technically pin everything on you at this point. Also, I want to point out, there was a massive shootout between the LAPD and a good chunk of Mickey Cohen's mob. And a whole lot of dead Marines. And the news that are coming in, out are war hero cheats on his wife. Give me yeah. a second on this. Something seems to be going wrong. Yeah, but say, say, what the heck is that sound? Are you typing? Nope. Something is going wacky. Oh, goody. Uh, was that a sound fight glitching out? I think the game is hiccuping. Also, I, give me a second for this. I guess this. the game itself hates where this storyline is going. I guess. Let's see, I might need to Let's note see. Add that down a bit. Uh, let's see, Pizza Lover's Rhythm Swing? Let's see, okay. Mm. From Pizza Lover, I swear to God this damn detective is the only reason therapist in the city or reach the emotional and physical trauma people through when he interrogates them, even the innocent ones. Yeah, I, you, you can't pin the physical stuff on him, Phelps, though, that's Roy. Okay, let's see if this fixed things. And yeah, despite five stars, all clues, all questions, all 14 questions in this, and 50 CD damage, okay. Despite mob wars and an all of robbery, one story will dominate the newsprint. Uh, and demote it to arson deck. Your desk. Bleh. How did I read a S for a C? <laughs> I, 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 I thought he was fired, not demoted. Like, I've already just... I find it funny that just there yeah, the was same literally a yeah. mob war. There were a lot of dead Marines, and somehow the story that's on the that's been printed um, is war hero cheats on his wife. Um, there's a <laughs> there is a something missing here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the yeah, the cutscene glitched out. Of course it did. But uh, yeah, typical political BS. When some when bad, some something stinks, throw something else into the okay, news everyone. to try and outstink Keep it, it or distract it. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. <laughs> Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. Mm -hmm. This is arson. There are no ropes. Only fuses. It take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Uh, so I mean, yeah, the arson desk is where they send the fuck ups. Yeah, after our our yeah, career burns that. down in flames. You got it made if you can get to that desk. You know, because the yeah, fucking Roy decides to be a snake. And again, I don't think he's ever been anything other. I mean, like, <laughs> he doesn't even serve it by choice anymore. Uh, and yeah, so we get to the last uh, to the last desk of the game. Oh right, I check. There's no newspaper in bags. You've just faced through a wall. There's no newspaper in this case. There's a newspaper in the next case. Okay. You can drive. All right. Where to? 
Let's start from the stop. From the stop, the top. The. <laughs> How long have you been working, Arson? We can do the small talk thing now. Talk baseball, exchange addresses. I don't think so. Feeling down, hot shot? Need a buddy? We'll look somewhere yep. else. No, Biggs isn't big on small talk. Also, I'm blaming him for hitting the car there. <laughs> but we are still getting blamed for it anyways. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah. That's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. <laughs> no offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Kind of it's lucky. like the only thing they ever won in their lives. And they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Dirty cop from the newspaper. Oh, shut the fuck up, get, you. Yeah. Get some water and. The... Mr. Stevens. Do people know why I'm so quiet? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs. I'm LAPD. pissed. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. He's been dinging around for whatever he could recover. Reality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Okay. September, September 18th. 18th. 19th. Okay, so that so arson seems to take place on, on September. <laughs> Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Going back. I'll come back. Thank you. Uh, okay. What are we thinking on this one? Yeah, and then Biggs already said that this doesn't look like an insurance scam. Yeah, and this one looks in shock or uh, as such still. Or yeah. in disbelief. Oh, no, no, maybe not in disbelief, but... He doesn't probably look well. Some, yeah. Well, probably some slight disbelief since, you know, his fucking house is that burnt Tyler Rubble to, our, to the left. Yeah, and everything he owns he's wearing or he's in the car. You might have nothing better to do than stand around and stare, but I have a family to feed. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. This lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Well, either he's been truthful or he's realizing maybe I should have done that. Yeah. Truth? He's shifting his weight a lot more, though. Yeah. The... More glancing, more blinking. Is he truthful or hiding something? But again, I try to take. Do it again. Trying to take account this time for what the heck has happened. Yeah, but he's shifting his weight a hell of a lot more, and he's not looking as straight. So, what shall it be? 
doubt. You might have nothing that. better to do I'm... than stand around and stare. Yes, yes, we but heard I have it. A family to feed. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now, my house is the center lot. You know you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. And yeah, they could probably That's just undercut you as well with it. All right. Perhaps mm. there's probably something there. Let's see. So we've got a redevelopment fund, and well, then the holdout burns down. This is a moment. Oh, hot it melted metal. Yeah. Hmm. Color and color mixing. Incidental. Yeah, if it were, if that was used as an accelerant or a fire starter, it would have been burned away entirely. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was. Didn't give me anything to go on. <laughs> It looks like what happened when you leave chocolate on a hot stove or something. <laughs> I'm surprised the entire thing hasn't melted away. It, a shoe? That uh, must have been lucky. Look at the top. Yeah, it's it wide open like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the shoe again. Yeah, and this is why people take fire safety real fucking serious. Yeah. On that, uh, do keep an eye on the expiration dates on your fire extinguisher people and have your smoke detectors checked regularly. Because otherwise, this could be you. Hm? Hello? Insta heat, we meet again. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. <laughs> Again, remember these guys from way back in traffic? <laughs> yeah, one of their pipes was used to bash someone's head in. That was yeah. used to a guy to pretend he was dead. Yeah. Those were the days. It's pretty far away from the rest of everything. Like, everything seems to have just collapsed in downwards. Why is this thing so far away? It probably blew up and then everything else collapsed inwards. Yeah, it's definitely an oddity with it. Well, I need to say this. <laughs> I think you just referenced that case we were just talking about. Wait, wait, what? I think he said something along the lines of, isn't that the cop he caught the guy who pretended to be dead? Oh, dear. But I do have to ask, anyone else who... ...feels the times, are just sick? Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Hmm. Not sure I've ever had that before. Yeah, right. I was gonna say, is <laughs> anyone else sick of the tropes of uh, what we saw earlier? Corrupt then, politicians uh, and you know, police stitching other yeah. people up with their bullshit. Yeah. Just. I'm so tired of you know, like yes he did something he should not have done But they're using him to hide their own bullshit And yeah. intervene in important police matter in something that's way more serious. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Yes. How could I help detective? Yeah, I'm pissed. I need information on the suburban redevelopment fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has mm. private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks for your help. Okay. Hello, someone's going to see someone. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs... 
Okay, add on a, add on an extra fifty years, dude. Yep. Uh, yet it is relevant to see the game what we've been hearing in the, uh, you know the news, eating and all this, this with all this want. AI stuff. Yeah, it's nice never going to fully replace people because you always need people to double check this shit. Just look at AI art and such, and there's, there's always, or typically always, some small tells and such. Yeah, mm. and people need jobs. Yep. So how we... <clears throat> so yeah, just it's not the, the, the whole feel of using robots to replace humans is a is bad idea. Does that answer your question? Big isn't big on the uh, road rules as well, it seems. Okay, not sure what the music is, just picking up in volume there. Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of arson. Family of four found dead in their beds. <laughs> Heater explosion. Yeah, another one. Looks that way. Uh, Insta heat uh, model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. The coroner is getting in his exercise. <laughs> There's still stuck there. <laughs> He's just um, very serious about his moonwalk. And uh, yeah, people with some sensitive stomachs. You're gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Firm and fair is all you can really ask from true professionals. Okay. But, yeah. Arson is not going to be for the people with uh, weak stomachs because, well, let's just say people who die from carbon dioxide poisoning, they get off easy with it, so to say. They just uh, suffocate in their sleep. They don't have to, well, they don't burn themselves. Okay. Might be a time for when the flames went up or so. Who reached it? When the uh, plane went out, could have died then. Mm -hmm. I think the met. I think the heat would have warped it. it that's just going back to it. So at least around that time is when the fire probably started. It probably a bit before. Mm. Hello. Another case of molten metal. Let's see. I'm surprised those are still standing. <laughs> they look like they've been completely turned to ash. Ew. Okay, uh, something went bang out the side if it went all the way to here. Hmm. It's also just the fact that. Well, that's pointing outwards. Yeah, something just. I'd say something just blasted out from here, but it doesn't seem to be the heater because it's not here. Unless it's like three fields over. Okay. 
Okay. Let's check this side. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the, the heater just seems to be completely gone. Yeah, I guess it makes Insta Heat a bit of an ironic name since, well, it, it puts on the heat, but not the kind you want. Yep, another one. Okay, this book must be pretty popular. Hmm. If you want to know what color to paint your house. True, and yeah, I know pretty much nothing about color theory and such, only that uh, computer. Complementary colors are like, uh, if, if you have a color circle, uh, then the complementary colors are the ones that are at 60 degrees, no, no 120 degrees from the one you're picking. Like just okay. cut it into uh, three slices and where you have the cuts, those colors go together. Hmm. Okay. But I was remembering what color is something I read Learn from uh, I believe the ages that they, uh, they took co uh, color theme very serious. Like you could get punished for accidentally. Uh, this move uh, within heraldry, like a family symbol and all that. Yeah, and I'm pretty but, sure during certain times, purple was only allowed to be worn by uh, actual royalty and such. In part because it's just fucking expensive to make purple dyes. Yeah, but also, if you have. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Oh dear. But yeah, that, you could be punished if you were a sloppy painter, like, a, like if you have a little bit gold accidentally out of the line into the purple, uh, another color, it could be seen, depending on the color, <laughs> as an insult. Okay, oh, so I'm pretty sure he is. He's just has nothing to do today. The only thing he's here for is getting the bodies to the morgue. Yeah, uh, just because of that, not the insult you'll be. You will not be hanged or anything like that. But your reputation as a well, the guy doing the painting of a heraldry and all that on a shield will be up to the bait. Oh. hello. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, hey, insta heat. Is this significant? Regulator valve. Good climb. Detectives? This is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They want a trip somewhere. Honestly, with everything that's been but going on, how the hell is it insta so heat still getting customers? What are the chances? Do you know who ran the company? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Helps. The guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still catch him. Okay. Blood your gun. Is she seeing? Stop! Mm -hmm. LAPD! Uh, I oh, hope I keep in this point correct. Pyrophilia? Pyromania. Though pyrophiliac also works, I guess, but it puts less emphasis on the mania parts. Uh, oh yeah, pyro. When on the pyromania, when both would probably start the fire. Actually, actually, I think, I think the term pyrophiliac. And don't tell me again. <laughs> How the fuck did this keep happening? How dare you? Wait, what, what, what was that scream? Also, uh, hello, you look a bit like a, a certain burn slasher character. Yeah, he, he kind of looks like Freddy in a comedian. Okay, night night, Fred. Uh, not yet. Okay, take two. How did I get burnt from water? You glitched him in unconsciousness. Oh, so what was that scream from Phelps when he just got hooked like that? Was he just so... I said this with a cry of frustration. Herbert Chapman. So you like fires. This is the sum. The, the fourth them time is being closed I don't want any Yeah. Turn out your pockets. But yeah, I think the term pyrophiliac would be more for people getting turned on by fire. Naughty boy. 
Aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Okay. Drifflammer? It sounds German. Name. Drifflammer. Drifflammer? Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. We'll do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Okay, maybe he is the one right. that gets turned on by fire. If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fires cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the park my nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? Uh, okay. Uh, where are we going? Up? Yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, Gulliver's Travel Agency. Yeah. Like two places that burned down that just so happened to win uh, tickets to uh, a weekend away. Mm. Yeah. Once it's coincidence, twice it's starting to get a pattern, three times it's, it's definitely a pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think there was a story about how the whole uh, numbering and coding system with the police uh, broadcast or dispatch uh, started. I think it was because a couple of robbers got their hands on uh, police radios and used that to get the hell away before the cops could arrive. And well, for security's sake, it just stayed that way because, well... <laughs> I think it's decently easy these days to get your hands on a police scanner, or at least it always seems to be in media and such, which is to be taken with the entire shaker of salt, but still. Yeah. Folks can eventually get their hands on those and listen in on things, but they'd have to decipher th everything. There's probably entire code books for that. Okay, Gulliver's Travel, Gulliver, Gulliver's Travels, the book. Now you get it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, those sign. That makes me cringe. <laughs> so it's more interesting than an empty storefront. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? He sounds and looks familiar. Let's see. Sawyer. Rally was the one. The Sawyer yeah. family, Rosewood Avenue. Let's see. Which one did you say, Ron? No, Morelli were the ones that, like, they left, I think, and their house burned down and came back to it. <laughs> but Sawyer being the ones that died. There's a lot of flights to Catalina Islands. A lot of flights and... Okay, flights. <laughs> I was about to say flights and boats, but it's flying boats. And a ferry. Look at land. Mm. Yeah, three and by ferry. Um, it was going to. It was just going to appear very impatient. 
Here they are. Stephens. Yeah, there's another guy. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. You know, you know something really funny? I swear to God, this guy kind of reminds me of one of my high school classmates, and I don't know why. I think it's, I think it's his face. I, I, think, the, I think he's a celebrity. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know this celebrity, this name. I think he's a comedian, but he kind of looks like a relative to him. Oh, bloody... What is his name? I don't even know, know his character's names. Okay, back on track for a moment. What do we say on this? Uh, truth? Yeah, he seems truthful. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Okay, but we were told that they have... Well, they have a government endowment, or at least they get financial support from them, apparently? I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... A bit animated on that. Okay, doubt, doubt, doubt. Yeah. It feels like he doesn't like... Okay. I guess he, is, he knows the true thing and he doesn't like the true thing himself. Yeah, that was a bit fast for, you know, an answer, so I'm gonna go with doubt. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? <sighs> sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. <laughs> I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Oh, that's what you get for being corrupt with bullshit like this. It's it looks small, but well, we saw what it uh, snowballed into. I need to go over the case notes. Bye. Where are we headed? He was being honest and admit that it is something fishy about it. True, but he still had a hand in this. Admittedly, I, mean, I don't yes. think he knew anything about the house the suburb burning us. Yeah. True. Great he just gets a call up and says, oh, this... No, they won, okay, and then just calls up the panel and says, hey, you want a trip? Yeah, a middleman, but still somewhat involved. Like, yeah. I don't think it's allowed to do that anymore. I mean, you're not supposed to, but when has that stopped anyone? This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Yeah, uh, so it's Elysian a shell company. In the suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think Actually, I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without wait, evidence, go you're inside. out of your mind. There's something there. Okay. Let's see. Let me just walk in here, have a look around. It's just normal police business. Let's see what do we have here. So the Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Okay, data reports and requisitions must be addressed. Suburban Redevelopment Fund and submitted in triplicate. Failure to submit dailies is grounds for dismissal. Incorrectly filed supply requests will be ignored. Yeah, the. It's a shell company. It's just a name with nothing to it, it looks like. At the very least, it. it's not uh, its not being transparent, at the absolute least. You're behind the wheel. And where Fair exactly are we going? 
Yeah, only place we can go. The chief does have an, a theory. A fire theory. He says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Uh, who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Uh, Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. I really need to get a better microphone. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. Let's see. <laughs> is that a drum? We came as soon as we could. I swear this town is going straight to hell. I mean, literally like Lynch. a week ago, Lynch. there was a massive shootout between the LAPD the and Mickey Cohen's goons. As well? Yep. Why? I had to look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Let's see. 827 and it's 47. I and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve. And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Okay. That means that this one needs to be next to the burner. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's in the middle, I think. Or to the left. Okay. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay. Then you put. Uh, uh, wait, no. Okay. I, the, okay. The pilot. The pilot light is in the. Uh, <clears throat> is in the. Uh, the heater. Okay. I'll light your pilot. And turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Yeah. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. There's a guy named Cunningham who's gonna come over with a bunch of money. We're putting him down for like a hundred bucks uh, for one of the burned down family out. homes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but if there is a flaw in these heaters, then uh, corruption or not, or whatever, that is still a big ass deal. Because I think that still pops up every so often that heaters just get through, get found out to be having a flaw that make basically turns them into a bomb. The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Uh, great. Guy's probably a fire starter from the sounds of it. Hmm. You know Weird. I... If I didn't carry a lighter with me and all I had was that specific type of matchbox that I smoked, I probably would carry at least one cigarette like that just to keep it close. Yeah, probably. Is it anyway? Almost everyone smokes. Yeah, that's true. This is the forties. If it were the sixties, we'd be under a haze of under a haze of cigarette smoke. Yeah, and Whoa. other smokes. <laughs> Uh, luckily, the only smoke I've ever inhaled was secondary. I did so, smoke LAPD once or twice man. when I was in high school and in college. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. 
Actually, okay. I did try a seagull once when I was very young. I was promised a bill, a, a 20k or bill. I didn't get it until one week later or two when I told my father was that I haven't even got that coin. And he was pissed for he didn't like the first beginning oh, that I got to trick to try it with one puff. But he was allowed it. For I was promised at least to some money for it. But knowing that the, the guy did not give me the money. New and improved. As promised, pissed him off. Like <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> okay. But yeah, since, since then I never smoked again. But I ate, it went home. Was, one puff and, and horrible coffee fit. <laughs> Yeah, so, plus yeah. there's, also, there's also the fact that I lost a grandmother to uh, lung cancer, so double oh, reason not to. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of reason. Could you tell us about this? Actually, a lot of things, but Where's one of my uncles did smoke a lot. Here. Let me take a look. Didn't particularly help him later in life. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. In English? It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Okay, that's the one that we found at the location. Not the one that we just experimented with. Okay, Mr. Oh, Ivan. You're telling me that uh, this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Could you say, no, this looks like it's been tampered with, but you're just making yourself look guilty or also doubt. Uh, also, didn't you just I say... say... I oh, right, see no. doubt. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Good point, Biggs. Also, uh, if you're selling them as later models, or newer models, and you're putting in old stock. I'm pretty sure that's uh, some form of fraud. Yeah. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Are you sure? Um, names that we can just find in the department list to see whether or not they're also either arsonists or because we have Ryan and Var and Varley. Oh, good God! I misread the last guy. His name there. Why did you see Varley? I thought it said or... Ivan racist. Damn it! <laughs> <sighs> you did as well. No, I did it, but the fact that you did that specific. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was a bit, really a bit too quickly. What's the what's the verdict on this though? He's lying. Doubt. Have you proof of the lying? I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you gonna prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Well, we've got two names. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right, he's been in some trouble, I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, so is the boom want you to get me a the end of a lot of, of lives. Installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. 
housing business is going crazy at the moment. Get back here and apologize. This is a long the shot. Heck? We are not going to rouse that whole list. Let's see. I see I Ryan. By R and I cross reference for arsonists. See if any and of these Barley. guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Okay. We don't see that every day. Why do you have your phone all over here? Oh well. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. I'm out of here. Cole Phelps, <laughs> batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Did it take get any Walter, quicker? Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four year jail term. Thanks. Okay, so he just came out last Ryan year. Matthew, Who? charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Oh, so both of our guys have issues. It's quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. America is a lucky country. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on. Okay, to get. I don't know why this keeps happening every now and then. Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show them and keep quiet. And you just got told that one of your men is wanted for murder. I think you want to play along a little bit. Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Let's see. Matthew Ryan. Oh, hello. Uh... Okay. I don't think this is any use to us. The heck is this? Oh. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. To be fair, capitalism still shit. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Hmm. Yeah, rage against the machine, but he still <laughs> he still charges for these five cents, but still. Okay. Uh, are they in alphabetical order? Let's see. Robert, Thomas, uh, a John. I'm just going to react wherever he. There. Okay, Clemens. Oh, hello, another one of these. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Nothing much to see there. Now, the thing I see with anarchists and basically every uh, time I've seen it pop up is that it just replaces one type of leadership with another. Typically, the pe the idiots who claim to be anarchists but just want to lead things themselves. And hello, the company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. So they're not actually that good. Barley has a problem with bugs. They are better nowadays. You can't get some that actually work nowadays, but... Yeah, it took a few years. Like, this is again the 40s. Yeah, and remember that you know the that chief said something about those. Down, no, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. 
So do we. Left. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Let's see. Just a double check. Okay, nothing. Okay, so we've got someone wanted for murderer, an attempted murderer, and apparently a loading screen. So was <clears throat> so was wanted for a loading screen. So it's really loading screen in crime. <laughs> you know, it depends on how long they take. Oh, great. The next show is being planned. Okay, keep moving, lover boy. Okay. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? Let's see. Let's hit the Clemens first, since he's wanted for murder, I believe. And, yep. Oh, that's you... probably been worked. Go ahead. No, apparently a similarly named guy to Barley is the one that's been looked that Detroit PD wants for murder. Okay. And, and, here, so no mm -hmm. All right. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Okay, not the guy we saw. And on that and the newspapers again, like cutaways like that work for building up tension. The problem I have with the newspaper bits is that it's, well, it doesn't be really build up tension. It just gives away the game. Okay, what do you know about Barley? Oh, you know Reginald Barley. No? Can't say I do. You work with him, jackass. Doubt. Doubt. Look at that, look at that smug smile, like, yeah, I'll get away with this. Oh, it's Varley who's uh, yeah. there, Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first, spreads it around if you can. Well, 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 we've got even more corruption to dig out. You were licensed and worked for Instaheap? I contract for them, so what? Doesn't answer the question, or half the question. What's with that no. look? Did you just realize you said the wrong thing? <laughs> also, doubt. You're okay? Doubt. Instead, he hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're supposed to be <laughs> against this sort of thing, dumbass. Uh. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. His anarchist pamphlets on his on your fucking locker. Oh, they, they are like you you work together oh, well, you have to look at it again again let me tell you, it would be hard to know every co-worker you work with unless you work there for a very very long time true you and ryan are fifth columnists and how do you figure that wise guy what proof do you have been following me to meetings? Yeah, we know Who that you uh, you, one of your pamphlets is in there. It's Clemens. Yeah. Also, where the fuck does the term fit columnists come from when it comes to uh, anarchists? Yep. <laughs> to Google. Yeah. Yeah. Pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. You can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. Column is He's got it in for the company. This group of people right, undermine a larger group or nation from within, usually Can in I get back to work now? Let's get out of another here, nation. He ain't our guy. Okay. 
Still got a question what uh, the, the, the fifth comes from then. Okay. Uh, the you know the way. You can drive. Bye. The term for colonists originated from Spain during the, during the early phase of the Spanish Civil War. Getting popular. Popularity of the Loyalist faction, media, in early October 36, then started to spread abroad by September 36. Okay. So basically, they were fifth faction during that? Were they fifth faction? Hmm. I have no fucking clue. Yeah. Uh, I can look into it later. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which of the I mean, two? Barley. I'm pretty certain he's the one that's been wanted for murder. Yeah. Even if we can't catch him for the fires, we can catch him for dots. If he's wanted for murder, we say we take the dot out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. <laughs> World War One bets. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Okay, so go for the legs if it comes to it. Then again, when has it ever helped us? Aim for the toe. <laughs> you did shoot a guy in the ass. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! They never stop! <laughs> Uh, at the very least, they're legally required to do it. Hold it, hold uh, it, hold uh, it. Uh, God damn it. Could have had it there if I hadn't lost him for like a half a second. Okay, do we still have range on him? Yes, we do. Okay. Stop or I will shoot! I think this is like the second one we've got them with that. Uh, Beaky Bull, never! Fire the you gun up! Never! I guess that you're the same Reginald Farley. The Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing oh, so far? Dear. I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hide the Detroit Police Department. At least put on a fake fucking name. You can drive. <laughs> all right. Yeah, or at least Where's swap the... your name around. Like that. you could, and you could put that up to a clerical error. Like my name is Varley Reginald. Or is, would Varley even work as a first name? Probably somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from from uh, Hawaii. <laughs> okay, two down, one to go, and of course it's the redevelopment part a lot. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said this. We're just getting a whole buffet of uh, this bullshit, huh? Those are GIs that are crashing. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one man wrecking ball. Boom in. I'm oh, hello. The We're back here. Yep. The motherfucker. Okay, he ran in front of me there. It's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Hopefully yeah. they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. And we're losing him because this icon is transparent. Going transparent. Us, Some partner I got. Now, shut up, you. <laughs> we raced straight through the uh, the fake, yeah, through the shell companies pull off there. Yeah. Saw that one coming? Yep, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that there just be a ditch there, otherwise it would have gone straight across. I'll go for the tire. That ought to slow the son of a bitch down. What's he doing? 
That'll slow him down. Oh, Jesus! What the? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he still there? Yeah. I mean, you're under arrest. And Put your hands where I can see them. Why did you run? Bro? He should be dead now. You scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. <laughs> Just cars riding right past behind us there. Well, also each of those chases have a scripted ending if you don't manage to stop them before then. And the train was supposed to be his. I'm pretty sure that we fucked that up. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. You're behind Let's the wheel. The station and close this case. He <laughs> just fucking. He just ate shit and somehow lived. Yeah, he, he should have been through the front window on that, and the front window of the tram. I just thought, uh, I thought he got, uh, was still stuck on the tram, so I was surprised to see he was not by the tram. He, he just got plain ejected. <laughs> Boom. That's 55 miles an hour backwards. This guy uh. was willing to ride his own mother after I'd sweated him. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Biggs might not have been big on us, and I guess I am going to keep making that joke, but he has warmed up quite a bit. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Okay, in the meantime, can we rent some uh, billboard space on that forehead of yours? <laughs> okay, Ryan's. Oh dear. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, I don't want to laugh, but look at his eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I maybe. Think right. I think his right eye might be a bit lazy. I think you were going more for the fact that it looks like they're a slightly different shade, but that might be the lights. That's yeah, that's probably the yeah. light. Anyways, you, lie. The guy They're has anarchist pet. The guy yeah. has, a, like, the pamphlets. Yeah, and anarchists have a history with fire. This is industrial sabotage, Brian. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? The one that you have these pamphlets for? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Of course, bigger companies eating up the smaller ones and still failing to make any progress. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. They're, no. they're lying. No. Uh, yeah. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Because your boss said it was an easy thing to do. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. <laughs> Uh, wait, what? Uh, now he wasn't the one who burned down his own house, so where did that bit come from? 
Maybe a cut thing? Probably just, probably just big ears. Look it, look it up in the records. You're an arson, right? <laughs> what can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Okay, now he's just straight up going for the derp. They're lying again. Yeah, the doing the chewing thing. Chewing cheek and chewing lip. The thing is, we don't have anything that connects them to front the suburban road about this fun. They're arranging for people to be out of town mm. while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Yeah, it was Varley who was on the take with them. Though he did say they were sp trying to spread it out. Or at least the other one said, I think. Anyway, so you're still... <laughs> even if we don't hang you for this, you're still going to cook for this. You have a history of violence. Or was it the one? I have no such thing. No, no. No, it was the other one who... Was it? I'm, I'm getting these trees shoveled together. I know the heck... I think they're lying again, but we're proof. Dang it. Uh, oh yeah, the police the criminal yeah, records. The criminal records. You're lying. They are lying. Yeah. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you gonna prove that? You literally have criminal records. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. The same one with the fault that they took over. Okay. Talk to him, or do we talk to the other guy and then flip a coin? That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. This guy okay. Another case of this. A... Rude. I think Ryan is our man. But procedure all. says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Okay, okay, now we can just go to find interrogation room two. Yeah. yeah. I know you've got it made if you can get the Okay. Yeah, hello? I think we bust in there and find the goddamn. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. <laughs> okay, the infighting is already going. Face. <laughs> it looked it looks that he looks the one with the lazy eye, or at least like he's got a black one. <laughs> he, look, uh, he looks like Chandler when he tries to smile for a picture. <laughs> okay. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? I don't know. Sawyer. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Oh my neck! That crystal. Are you still headed to look at the picture? I'm trying to figure out if it didn't look like Shadow. I just heard a massive crack in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we know you're lying. You serve as one of them. Yeah, your name is in one of them. Floppy. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Uh, uh, served by Varley. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. <laughs> you got me there. Suburban? Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweet. I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. So that sounds like a motive to well, burn his house down and with you as uh, the arsonist. 
Okay. I've asked word for something like that. Word is, you're the the beginning. some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> Even <laughs> Phelps knows that bullshit. Yeah, uh, we know you're talking to you. Yeah, uh, Clemens and Ryan talked about it, so yeah, you're lying there. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There was no way you can link me to Suburban. You were wasting you your really time. You really talked about how you did a job for Suburban Redevelopment Fund one second ago. Yeah, it's there. Offered kickbacks. Testified Varley conspiring with Suburban. Like, it's two against one, not job. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. He'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So, yeah, I took the money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Right, and the fact that two houses burn down right after they get tickets from <laughs> from redevelopment, right? What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model Seventy do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? Oh, yeah, look. Why? Because of the mosquito. Oh, I mean, lucky. remember the thingy he had in his locker? Yep, which the chief said is a prefer. Ow. It's my hand against the underside of the desk. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire, huh? Yeah, the fact that you have a, the favorite type of ignition in your place. Uh, where was that? Yeah, mosquito coils found in Reginald Barley's locker. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! <laughs> Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of... Stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of space in that locker still, so that sounds a bit suspect. Hey, do you want to flip a yeah. coin? Do we arrest the communists or do we arrest the idiot? And then, communist, arsonist, uh, anarchist. Does it even go together? But yeah, we have uh, this guy who did nothing but lie to us, and the other guy. Well, who we only... Well, they still lied half the time, but only half of that we could prove. And this one is still wanted for murder, so do we stitch on a few more cases of that? Was that Ryan's name, Ryan's name on a lot of those... Uh is from the burned down boxes or was it the one the uh, water eating service uh, records yeah. yeah they have one each and this is the one that turned lethal so it could just be that they're both on the take with this but well this one we have the stronger case with I th a case with I think oh dear uh, you know which one is the guilty one I guess even if I did, I wouldn't tell. So, votes. Who would you say to charge Rom? Varley? Or our uh, communist anarchist? I'm gonna go with uh, Ryan, the other guy. Okay. I will vote for Ryan as well. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Okay. Well, I guess we're spreading the jury then. Yes, he is already going. He is already going in for one murder. 
And, well, I guess you're unlucky enough to go for these ones, huh? You both sure? I'm sure for he has a l extreme lot of motivation. He has been showing a lot of violence. Ram? To have motive to at least one insta heat gone. True, and by while well, committing murders with insta heat materials, he would also bring down or bring it down on insta heat. So yeah. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> police is definitely one of the jobs where, well, the reward for good work is more work. Oh, come on, 150 city damage. <laughs> Are they up? Completely wrecked the cars. Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. And soon after, followed by a rope. And that was the gas man. And, well, we're going a little bit over time already. But at least let's see the intros. Sure, that's necessary. I'm pretty sure something inside exploded already. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Uh, Phelps is just never popular wherever he goes, huh? Nope. Okay, in the next case, a walk in the Legion Fields. That's a lot of paperwork. And not the type Phelps typically deals with. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. Okay. But we'll have to call it there. So let's head on out. Okay. And yeah, that'll have to do it for today. But before we go, we do go. Look, we are going to look for someone to raid. So let me move on over here. Okay. 
Yep. I almost thought we weren't going to have to, and we are no, almost thought we weren't going to be able to do this because you were a bit late, Ron. But good thing that we still stuck around on the game for a bit. Oh well, yeah, that, he's still missing an arm. <laughs> okay, that's what you get. <laughs> that's a yeah, job risk as a gunner, I guess. Okay, let me move these over there. Okay. Change windows and to Twitch. Okay. Now let's have a look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Misunderstood is still going or again going, it seems. They were playing Ori earlier when we raided them, but we've already raided them with now. Or we already raided them earlier. So let's go look for someone else then. Let's see. We have Life Wolf with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Swalbe is playing retro games. Let's see. Going to need a bigger boat. Far Cry. I don't think retro. I don't think <laughs> the original Far Cry is that old enough to be considered retro. And yeah, he's act he is actually playing. Maybe the first Far Cry isn't in the categories or something. Hmm. Uh, skipping Jimmy anyway. because he's playing crosscodes. Hmm? I think I'm gonna go. It was okay. fun. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay. Yep. See you later, and thank you for joining as always. Yep. Be safe, Ron, and thank you for joining. <laughs> you guys be safe too. Okay. Next up, we have Lazarus with Bilkin's Folly. That's definitely not a game I've ever heard of, so let's go take a peek. And of course, there's an ad without a preview. Let's see. I'm a flanker is playing Call of Duty Warzone. I'm nice with Animal Crossing as usual. Then we have Casco Zook with Small Saga. Uh, let's see. I think that's sort of like a uh, <clears throat> a mouse version of Super Mario or uh, Paper Mario or something. Uh, I'll have to check first. Let's see what the heck is up with this. Uh, okay. Apparently, Lazarus is just looking at a bit of. <laughs> And a PNG of something for some reason. Uh, oh, he's looking up the a wiki of for Kingdom Hearts. Heck, heck. Oh, <laughs> he hasn't even started up the game. Or what? No, he's been going for two hours. So the heck is going on? Anyways, we raided them somewhat recently. So let's look somewhere else. Casco Zook, Small Saga. Are we going? Yes, we're going to get this without uh, freaking ads. And yeah, it looks a lot like Mario R uh, Super Mario RPG, but with the pixel style and such, and the isometric, but it's with mice or rats. Uh, tale of that character look up. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> Small animals in general, it seems. Okay. Uh, next, we have Redacted Cat, who is playing Diablo 2 still. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Party Animals. Horatius the Dwarf is playing The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Which I would be really interested in myself if it wasn't it's just stuck on the epic. And yeah, hopefully it will come to Steam, but it will come to first to PlayStation in December the fifth, and early next year on okay. Xbox. Let's see. Next we have Halloween, who is playing Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. I I think I have that game somewhere. And I might I might think about streaming that at one point myself. But really, the scroll plays the <laughs> plays a flute that's a pencil. Okay. And last but not least, we have Little Karibo who is playing Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Okay. Any of these sound interesting to you, or shall I pick? Hmm. I've let you pick for at the moment. Let's stumped. see. I'm thinking Casco Zook at the moment then, because I am a bit curious about this game. So copy the name, add to our place, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank, <clears throat> thank you Pizza Lover for chatting along a bit. And uh, let's see, Sensai, I see you lurking there. <laughs> thank you for being here as usual. Uh, there's also a name here I've seen a few times. I think I've run it through the bot scanner a few times and came up empty. So uh, thank you for looking as well. Oh, my Arcus 087. <laughs> and of course, thank you. Uh, thank you to Ram for joining us for a bit. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as 
Thanks, my friend, and thank you all for your winning. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Hopefully, we can get some multiplayer shenanigans in tomorrow. Maybe Borderlands, maybe Necessi, maybe something else. We'll have to see what the others are up to. Um, but yeah, that'll be for tomorrow. So for now, let's start up the raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls.